Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest, and in this video today, we're going to show you our wireless dynamic system and our dynamic system. They're both new, and we're going to show you the difference between the two. So both of them can be used from age 11 right up to age 18 plus. It depends how you want to teach uh, this part of the curriculum. So what we have here at the moment is everything you will get with the wireless dynamics. Now that's product number 1500PK, but this is the wireless dynamics. Now, you do not get the light gates with either system, but the light gates will attach to both systems, so you can use those as well, as well as our existing SmartQ light gates will also attach to these with a data logger. So it is up to you how you want to use that. So let me explain a bit more about what you actually get with the wireless dynamics. So again, not the light gates, you get the interrupt cards, these interrupt cards go on top, so you can have a single interrupt to go through here and the light gates go on here, which I'll show you how they attach in, in a few moments. You can also turn it round and you can have a double interrupt or a single interrupt on the cart just here. So you get two carts, two lots of interrupt cards. You also get two masses for each cart. So you can put these in here. So one cart is 284 grams. Each of these is 284 grams. So then you can pile these up onto here accordingly as well. These are also magnetic on here. Let me just take these back out. So magnetic end stops on both of these and magnetic end stops on here. So to give you an idea, so we can go along and that will repel accordingly. But both of these also repel on here. But what we also have is Velcro on here. So you can go from one to the other. So you've got your momentum there as well. Okay, so it will do everything you've ever needed to do for this part of the curriculum. You also get a set of hanging masses, you also get cotton and various end stops if you want to use it with the force sensor on the end because the wireless dynamic system actually has an encoder on the wheel. So therefore it can, because you have an encoder on the wheel, you can therefore get displacement, then you can get velocity and you can get acceleration. It's also got an accelerometer built in, a gyroscope built in and a force sensor on the end here as well. So it's got everything that you would need to use, again, to cover this part of the curriculum. So emphasis again, the wireless dynamics and the dynamic systems, both from age 11 to 18, it's how you wish to teach that part of the curriculum. Now the light gates can go onto here. So they fit on very easily. And this is when you will use your double or interrupt card, depending on how many light gates you are using. So you can pop that on there and then they will pass through the light gates accordingly. Now, the dynamic system, so the one without the electronics in, so that's product number 1540PK, will get you one cart, again, not the light gates, one cart, two masses, interrupt cart, Everything else the same as the wireless dynamics, but only one cart. We have another accessory pack because the high the students, the older the students get, you might want the second one again to do the collisions and so forth. But that's an extra pack if you wish to purchase that as well. How you will set up for the dynamic system. You have the cart just here. This is when you'll be using these with the light gates. You have the interrupt card already on the end here. We have cotton going through, going through the hole here with a mass on the end. So this is Newton's second law. So what you will do here, you'll make sure that's set up. You will let go, go through the first light gate, which you are then collecting velocity at A. Go through the second light gate, you're then collecting velocity at B. Now you must remember with the length of the cotton going over the pulley, that this must go through the second light gate before the mass hits the floor. Otherwise the experiment will not work. It's also logging as well here time from A to B, so therefore the student can then minus one velocity from the other, divide by time and work out acceleration themselves. With the wireless dynamic system, because you have an encoder on the wheel, which is uh, collecting displacement, you then can also collect velocity and acceleration. To do Newton's second law, you can now have the mass on the string, which is attached from the car, through to the pulley, through the hole in the middle there, going down to the mass just there. You can then let this go as it goes along. It's now collecting the velocity on the graph and you are now doing Newton's second law. Please go to our website. If you go to the product pages, there is lots of eBooks and worksheets to actually download free of charge. 
as well as videos on our secondary academy. That can be found on our website, data-harvest.co.uk. And if you go to the drop down menu teaching, that then has the secondary academy in there. Once you go into there, it's got lots of other videos on our Bluetooth sensors as well, showing you how the Bluetooth sensors work. Another section is how they work in the experiments. And the third section is how you use the EasySense 2 software. Now, if you need support from us or any help whatsoever, please drop us an email, sales at data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you.